from domestic abusers to some of the dirtiest players to have ever played the game. Here are the most controversial figures in the history of the league, and first is Jason Kidd. Sure, he's one of the most legendary players in the game. He's also one of the most charismatic. The one-time champion is even a part of the Hall of Fame. While he's dominated the court with his skills, his personal life has been anything but impressive. He's got a history of domestic abuse against his ex-wife, Romana. Back in 2001, Kidd was arrested and charged for it after he assaulted her during a fight, and he pleaded guilty. The court sentenced him to six months of anger management therapy. In 2007, he claimed that she had been extremely cruel to him. Jomana counterclaimed that the one-time All-Star had multiple affairs. He had even abused her to the point of breaking a rib once. Another time, he had damaged her hearing after smashing her head against a car. Yikes. But where Kidd's behavior is criminal, the next player is the king of controversy, Delonte West. The controversies have no end when it comes to this guy. Some of them are straight up crazy, while others are just messed up. I mean, the man's had an affair with LeBron James's mom. It doesn't really get crazier than that, except he has been. You'd never imagine someone speeding up on a three-wheeled motorcycle with three loaded guns in a guitar case. But Delonte has done just that. No matter which case I bring up, it seems like he invites trouble wherever he goes. He could be messing with the law or pissing off a teammate. Whatever it is, he'll be at the center of controversy. But this next player is so controversial that he got a video game out of it, Bill Lambeer. When it comes to the bad boys of Detroit, the first one up is Bill Lambeer. It's because his entire legacy rests on the controversial way he played. The 6'11 center's physical play was borderline dirty for years. He hacked and bumped his way to two NBA titles. He's even got four all-star berths as one of basketball's most dominant defenders. And Bill was so aggressive that he had MJ claiming that he and his squad were deliberately trying to hurt him. So, that insane play style ended up getting Lambeer a Super Nintendo game. Bill Lambeer's contact basketball was a futuristic spin on basketball where physical play was encouraged. At least Lambeer's foul play was kept to the game. This next one has left no stone unturned when it comes to being controversial. Isaiah Ryder. His record's really insane, so I'll give you a short summary. When he was in Minnesota, he was pretty unruly towards team management and even assaulted a female bar manager. If that wasn't enough, he got caught with an illegal cell phone. Though that wasn't the only illegal thing he owned, he was even arrested for possessing marijuana as well. The same thing happened again in Portland, and it also set the tone for the future jailblazers. He also faced suspension from three games after spitting at a heckler, and that was just the start. He missed nine more games over three years after getting suspended. When he came to Atlanta, he was rude with their team management too, and he was caught with marijuana once again. After all the drug abuse, he was asked to attend counseling, but he straight up refused. Ryder's career has had more controversy than sport. His ratio of plays to suspension is still less than my next pick, Latrell Sprewell. When you think of Sprewell, you're probably reminded of the legendary I have a family to feed statement. But for now, I'm going to talk about his shocking fight with his former coach, PJ Carlosimo. Why, you say? Because that's the actual incident that labeled him a controversial person. It was December 1997. The Golden State Warriors were at practice, and Carlosimo made the mistake of asking Sprewell to make crisper passes. That was enough for him to get defensive. He told the coach that he wasn't in the mood for criticism and asked him to keep his distance. Carlosimo didn't hold back either. He approached the player, but ended up getting dragged down to the ground and choked. As a punishment, he got suspended for 10 days without pay by the Warriors. But then the NBA suspended him for the remainder of the season. Back then, the 68 games he missed was the longest suspension ever handed out. Though compared to my next pick, he seems pretty tame. Patrick Ewing. The fans are divided on this one, as some view him as a pillar of morality for his generation of players. On the other hand, his off-court life has got its fair share of controversy. Back in 2001, he testified in the famous Atlanta Gold Club prostitution trial. During his testimony, he even admitted that he'd gone to the club twice and had participated in sexual acts. Now, why are people confused about this? A lot of athletes do the same thing, but he's got three children. Even though he was divorced at the time, it just isn't a good picture. Coming to my next pick, he's a borderline criminal, Donald Sterling. He's a cheap man, and he seems like he's not interested in putting together a winning team, but he's created a lot of controversy with some of his actions off the court. The real estate mogul has been under fire for housing discrimination. He's also been accused of racism.
sexism by former GN Elgin Baylor. Then we got a couple of sexual harassment suits and the way he refused to pay for then-assistant coach Kim Hughes' cancer operation. These are the reasons why I think calling him controversial isn't enough. He's almost evil. It seems like anger is a common problem with these players because the next one has gone too far with it. Kermit Washington. He's been defined by one controversial moment in his entire career. Back in 1977, during the Lakers game against the Rockets, he landed the infamous sucker punch on Rudy Tomjanovich. The blow was so hard that Tomjanovich's face was fractured and spinal fluid was leaking into his mouth. The assault landed him a suspension for two months and he was fined $10,000. At that time, that was the longest suspension in league history. After that, he never had the same kind of presence on the court. Coming up next is a player with a bad attitude, Steven Jackson. There's just one reason he's got a place on this list, his attitude. He was a key member of the guilty party in the infamous Malice at the Palace in 2004. He was suspended for 30 games due to this, but only two years after that. He, along with three of his teammates, were involved in an altercation at an Indianapolis strip club. It also involved him getting punched by another customer, and later, he was hit by a car. That's when he pulled out a gun and shot several rounds into the air, and all of that got him suspended for seven games. The last player for today has also been a subject of mixed feelings, Kobe Bryant. He was one of the greatest to ever step foot on the court and even had a seemingly perfect family life, but that's not all there was to him. In case you didn't know, a hotel employee had accused him of rape back in 2003. The charges might have been dropped, but that doesn't mean people forgot all about it. So, from dudes like Kid and West to athletes like Spree, Jackson, and Kobe, these were the most controversial figures in NBA history. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. reported that one of the NBA referees was using his connections with different coaches, other referees, owners, and players to make them bet on different basketball games. In July of the same year, FBI reports were made public, and everyone got to know that the accused referee was none other than Tim Donahue. He had allegedly officiated the betting scandal during the 2005-2006 and 2006-2007 NBA seasons. One month later, in August, Donahue pleaded guilty to two of the federal charges, and after a year, he was jailed for one year and three months. Not just that, even after his release from prison, Donahue was kept under supervision for three years. Even though this controversy isn't related to a player, it's still considered one of the biggest NBA controversies to date. And it wouldn't be wrong to say that Donahue lost all the fans who once considered him his idol. Tim was once again accused of several other gambling activities even after this case. This proves that he had always used his position and money to fix games. While Donahue was paid